In this video, I want to demonstrate how to take 3D components and turn them into 2D blocks that you can use for a space plan similar to what we did in this assignment. So this is, this is really an informational video. This is not something that you have to do for this class, but I think it's helpful to know how to make these um, 3D blocks into 2D blocks, especially if you don't have AutoCAD. That said, you do have to have SketchUp Pro in order to do this. So if you don't have SketchUp Pro, this is um, good to know because it's good to kind of see one of the features that you can use SketchUp Pro to do. Um, but if you do have SketchUp Pro, you might want to follow along. I took three different components um, that are 3D and I've made sure that they're the appropriate sizes for a model. And what I want to do is I want to take these three components and flatten them completely, export them, make them into 2D blocks. So the first thing I want to do is I want to set up a scene for myself. So I'm going to open up my window scenes and I'm going to just, I always just as a habit make a perspective scene right when I'm starting out just so it's really easy to get back to working. So let's go ahead and make a scene, call it perspective, enter. Then I'm going to make a view that is straight looking down on the top. So I'm going to use my little um, my little views buttons here and click on top and then uh, camera uncheck perspective. So now I'm looking straight down on this. So this is what they'll ultimately look like. And if I want to take it one step further, I can pull up my window styles and I can check the hidden line. And notice I've lost some of my profiles. This is a perfect example of what I was talking about earlier. And here we can really see it. I'm going to edit this style and I'm going to check profiles to being on so I can see a little bit more of them. And then I'm going to uh, update the style by clicking on that little recycle looking button. So hidden line has now been updated to this. So this style now, this is, this is what I'm going to be exporting is my sink, my stove, and my dining room table with uh, six chairs around it. So I'm going to add that as another scene. This is just so that I can pop to this, call this plan. <clears throat> Every time I want to see this scene, I can quickly pop to it. So if I go to perspective and then scene, notice I've got two different styles. I've got two different views. Okay, great. I'm going to go ahead and save this. So I've saved this as, uh, surprisingly, sink, stove, and dining. Now what I want to do is I'm going to go to File, Export. I'm going to go to Export 2D Graphic. This is what you will typically do if you're going to export um, a, a file and call it uh, a JPEG or you want, you want to export a clean little, little image. But in this case, we're actually going to export vector lines. So let's go to our um, appropriate folder here, wherever it is that I would want to export this. I'm going to export this. I'm going to call it sink, stove, and dining. I've already got a 3D file saved as a SketchUp file. Instead of JPEG, I'm going to call this uh, AutoCAD. So if I don't have SketchUp Pro, I don't have the option to export an AutoCAD file, but I do. So I'm going to select AutoCAD and export that. And it's going to take a moment and then it's going to say export OK. And I'll say great. OK. Now I'm going to open up a new file. So file new. Okay. Let's go ahead and delete this guy. I'm using uh, SketchUp <clears throat> 2015 for this demonstration. Just that's why I have the different scale figure. Let me go ahead and um, adjust my style here. I'm going to choose a different style so it's a little easier to see this. So I'm going to go to window styles and I'm going to select. I'm going to select my simple style so that I can see my horizon. Okay. Now. Again, this is something I can only do if I have SketchUp Pro. I'm going to File, Import. So we just exported, now we're going to import. So I go to my, um, my appropriate folder where I just exported that, and I go to um, my Blocks, and here we go. It's, it's grayed out right now because I haven't changed the format from JPEG to AutoCAD. So I can export, uh, I can export and import AutoCAD files. Select that file and import it. Now it's figuring that out. It's telling me what's what, what's what, and I say okay. <clears throat> now, first thing I'll notice is this is way too big. If I actually measure this with my tape, okay, let me go ahead and hit my select button. First thing I'll probably want to do actually is make this into a group. So I'm going to select the whole thing and group it. 
Now I'm going to check it out with my tape. So if I measure from here to here, that's 300 feet. Crazy. So this table is also going to be way huge. 62 foot, 8 inches. Insanely big. So we're going to use our tape uh, trick <clears throat> to resize this. Let's see how big this is. I made a, for reference, I made a plane uh, that it's sitting on that is 25 feet by 8 feet. And so this now is a really easy reference point so that I can resize this using my tape to rescale. So if I start from this point, click from this point to this point, and then click again, and type in 25 feet immediately after, enter, it's going to ask me if I want to resize the model, and the answer is yes. So now this brings it down, and I can verify that this is now 25 feet, and this is now 8 feet. So now if I copy this, Apple C, or copy, edit copy, and then go back to my original file and edit paste. Now I can paste this in place, and if I lose, just by hiding, these 3D elements, I can see that I now have 2D blocks below. So I can now select them, make each one of them into a group, and then also right click and make each one a component. I now have 2D blocks that I can use in a space plan, and then I can explode this too. I'm going I'm to just select and then right click and explode this because I don't want this, I don't need this um, bounding box around it anymore. I've got that. I just needed that really for reference in the beginning. Now I can use these as placeholders. Let's unhide. Let's go back to the perspective here just, just for a quick minute. So if I were to set up a bathroom in a public space perhaps where I've got four of these guys and I wanted to paste this in place eventually, I can, I can copy this. So edit and copy and then open, open these components up and paste the sink in place right where it belongs once, once I eventually decide I want to move it into the 3D world. So <clears throat> that's kind of the quick example of that. I've actually set up for myself, and I, a lot of these I got out of, uh, out of AutoCAD to begin with. I had some 2D blocks, but I actually have a file that, I, that I've created for myself that I use all the time when I'm looking for things and it's really really easy just to use these as placeholders and I've set up little scenes so that I can quickly uh, navigate to where I want so that I can see okay this is a good setup for a bathroom this is a good setup for you know if I was to do a public bathroom or a private bathroom if I'm working on a living room or a lounge and I can just really quickly find what it is I want And I've created all this kind of standard table sizes and table configurations this makes space planning so much easier for me because I have to space plan all the time. <clears throat> so it's really, really easy to be able to just grab the pieces I need and place them in the model and then replace them someday. Once I've got this place, the space plan down, I can replace them with the 3D object I want. I can't tell you how, um, how much a difference this has made just in terms of time. Even things like vehicles, uh, people for reference, um, trees, exterior elements, things like that. So I recommend if you do have SketchUp Pro or if you have AutoCAD, <clears throat> I recommend taking your 2D blocks and making a really nice, clean, easy to navigate library for yourself. In the end, it's going to save you uh, just gobs of time. Um, so again, this is not something you have to do. This is just, this is just uh, information and uh, I hope it helps.